impact. Two things. Um, as a kid from Chicago, you know, they wanted to be in music and hip hop. Um, there were a lot of things that influenced me and had impact on me. And I want to lead it to him by just going down some of the lineage that I, that I felt like affected me. So you go Melly Mel, and then you go Rakim, KRS-One, um, Chuck D, and you know, we could push it up and go Nas. I wanted to paint that lineage because as a kid watching TV and listening to music, what it did for me and the impact that it had on me, you know, as a Chicago inner city kid trying to make it, you know, make a good way, a good living, and be part of a culture that I was watching. And culture in the sense of, <clears throat> right now I feel like we get the culture word a little twisted. Not music that doesn't say when we want to use a culture word as an excuse, but actually, something that stands for something, you know, in people's lives, you know, beyond having fun. You know, the words that he said, you know, really impacted me. So, now we're gonna go forward. I, I wore Wally's tonight. They said, she can casual, that, that's what that was for me. So, when I finally meet him, we, we're in the studio. He's a quiet guy, I'm a quiet guy. Probably both antisocial, if you ask me. And I looked, and after a while, I told him he ordered some food, and I said, if it was some pork on that plate, I would have had a problem. Because I needed him to be what meant something to me. And as time went on, you know, it became less that person on the screen, but then I began to meet Nasir Jones, you know, and that impact was a whole nother impact. The person, when you take away the accolades with the music and you take away the, um, the mystique and the, and the acrobatic lyrics and everything, I began to meet the person and that impacted me because I don't meet a lot of people in the music industry that I eventually look at as a friend or look at as a person that inspires me to be who I am or who I want to be. You know, it's just, a, we know what this industry is, you know. So the impact of what he did for me in music and the impact that he had meeting him and him being everything that I wanted him to be, you know, really inspired me. And I want to, like, tip my hat that I don't have on because it's going to be important. A lot of times, you know, I just talk to them and we'll talk and talk and talk. It's not about music. It's not about money. It's not about work. And, you know, the words just are inspiring and we should really appreciate it. You know, it's going to be here for years and years. His, his words are like a museum to me sometimes. I just keep getting and pulling and growing you know, from our conversations. So I wanted to say thank you for what you did as an artist, but thank you for being who you are. And, you know, I took enough time to say that I know that you are who you are, and you very much well deserve any and every accolade that you get for who you are and the impact that you have had on our music, our culture, and I want to thank you. My brother. <laughs>